Hi, welcome back to this series of videos on how to type maths and equations really efficiently in Microsoft Word. So uh, here's a document that I have typed up, which is one of many documents I've used Word to type equations. As you can see, as we scroll down, there's lots of uh, equations, even in colored boxes, etc. So as we know, traditionally, the typical program to use to type equations or mathematics documents like this is to use LaTeX. However, there is so much more benefits of using Microsoft Word. It's so much more user friendly and easy to control. LaTeX does has its advantage. It can be much more granular and you can fine tune much more aspects on the code level. Level. But on a user level, Word is actually a perfect program for a lot of people. So the main thing that stops people from using Word is two issues. Number one, people think that it takes a lot of clicks to actually create equations. So for example, if I want to create an equation over here, you need to click insert and equation. And then now you need to choose from these very complicated formats like this. There's actually a series of syntaxes just exactly like LaTeX. For example, to type an integral, you can just type like this and you'll get it. For example, to type a summation, there are a lot of codes that you can just type like this and uh, you can immediately compile it. So it's a what you see is what you get type of program instantly compiles, very convenient, very quick. You just need to get used to the syntax, which we have a whole series of videos on this coming out as well. And then a second issue is people think that it's not easy to create a numbered equation like this. So as you can see, all these equations are numbered and actually they are auto numbered. So if I rearrange the orders and update the document, all the equations will automatically update and you can reference equations really easily, just like you can with LaTeX. And you can also make a lot of custom shortcuts to immediately call up templates. For example, in some of the previous video we have already covered to create just a simple equation and environment without any numbering, then I have custom the shortcut with a prefix shortcut. So we've covered the technique of how to create a custom shortcut. So if I hold command equal equal, it will call out just an equation without a numbering. And I've made custom templates like command equal one, it will call out a template with a number as you see the number follows directly. So if I select everything and just click F9, it will update all the numbering. As you can see now it goes 37, 38, 39 like that. So we've covered that already. We've covered another template with command equal two. This one has a little bit more spacing as opposed to the first template like this and equal one. You see that with this, it is much more cramped and not enough spacing in between. So we've covered that in the previous videos already. Again, the links are all in the description below. So today I want to cover the other two templates that I've made that I've designated a shortcut of command equal three and equal four. And I'll show you what is that. Okay, so you can see the difference between this format, these four equations, uh, when I have this format where I've called out using command equal three compared to what I've called out using command equal two or command equal one, these templates. These are all center justified, so it's fine. Uh, but sometimes you just want a couple of equations that are all left aligned like this. And also I have a command equal four is when I want to have a left hand side equals to right hand side situation. And I have tried several ways, but this is the best solution I've been come up with is to set up a template how to do this. So there are definitely a time and place where this is useful. So I'll wrap up this series on creating auto numbered equations by showing you how to set this up. So here is an example of what we want to achieve with these new templates. So for example, if you have a long mathematics derivation or a complicated mathematics derivation like this, where you have the a left hand side and a right hand side and the right hand side sort of flows on its own and the left hand side if necessary also flows on its own and with the equal signs all aligned while also have the auto numbering uh, taking care of itself um, i don't know what happens over here so let me update this as well with uh, function f9 uh, you see i can immediately update all the numbering like this so let's discuss how to create a template like this so let me show you on a new page so i assume you have already watched the video on how to create auto numbering templates like this with command equal one or command equal two we'll use the command equal two because i want the uh, spacing as uh, six point spacing below as well. So if you haven't learned how to do this yet, remember the link of the videos are in the description below. So let me start with showing you just having it left aligned. So that is very easy. So if you just want a bunch of equations like this, instead of center aligned and all left aligned, then all you have to do is go up over here to this little marker, this tab stop over here. You see it says center tab, double click on it. And you see you have, you should have created two stops, one in 3.13 inch, which is center aligned and also one on the right at 6.5 inch, which is uh, right aligned. So all you have to do is click on this one and click on left and you're basically done. So now you see all the equations are left aligned. So if I type uh, fx equals to x squared like this. So this is now left aligned, but of course they don't look good. So let me highlight these again and I will move this to somewhere that makes sense. Something like this. So you can play around the exact place, placement of it so that it makes sense. And now you can type multiple equations like this where they're all left aligned even if you have a long equation like this. So now that you have created the template you want, highlight one of the blank templates you have and then let's create a building block for it as usual. So just a quick recap, 
you go to insert auto text now you have a preview over here I call this equation so I've already set up equation version 3 so you can do the same type that and then click add like this okay I won't override that because I already have it but all you have to do is click add and um, now you have added a template to create a shortcut for it again just a quick recap go to tools customize keyboard or command exclamation mark and scroll down to a building block search for equation six point below over here and I have deleted the keyboard shortcuts just to show you again so you will see there is no keyboard shortcuts but uh, ones that you've created before should have a shortcut displayed over here so command equal three if this is my third template for equations and click assign like this and okay so now whenever I hit command equal three it will call up this template here okay and now how about if we want to create a left hand side and right hand side that evolves separately so for example if the next line I want to do is add these two together which on the right hand side we want to write out this so for example, this is what I want to achieve. I want to type the next line where I add these two expressions together, but I want the equal sign to kind of align over here. So the best solution I can think of is to create a new template for it. So I'm going to start with just um, command equal to um, one of the standard templates here. I'm going to get rid of this first and I'm going to create a few extra tab stops. So I want my equal sign to be somewhere over here. So this is going to be where I'm just aligning it to where my other equals are. So this is roughly where my equal sign. And then I need to create a new tab stop just to the left and to the right of this. So slightly to the left let me exaggerate it a little bit first I'll click on this and I want to create one more to the right so this one is going to be left aligned so it says uh, if you hover over it, it says left tab that's fine so this one I will double click and select that so that's the most uh, the earliest one and change that to right aligned like this okay so we're going to put a couple of extra tabs so just for us to be able to see the tabs let me turn on the paragraph marks over here this over here is the first tab that goes over here this is the second tab that goes over here so we need a couple more so I'll hit another tab so that gives me the third tab here and the fourth tab over here okay so in the center one I'm going to put my equal sign and to the one aligned with this I'm going to do command equal equal right just make a simple equation environment and the tab over here make another simple equation environment and now what's left to do is just to align these like this right next to each other so if I click away now you can see maybe if I space that out a little bit it would look better you can see I have the template and I can now create a building block for this so I can just type the left hand side and the right hand side separately so let's quickly do that so if I select this and insert auto text you are going to type give it a name equation maybe equation aligned uh, version 4 like this once you type your name you see the little preview just click add and then create a keyboard shortcut just like we did earlier in customize keyboard go to building blocks and set that to a shortcut something like command equal 4 so I have that already so once you've set all that up you see command equal 4 would bring up a template like this so we can give an example if I do x plus y squared like this and now you can, if you don't want to reach for your trackpad, you can just use the right arrow sign for or, and hit it four times and you'll uh, have it on the right hand side. So we will just speed this part up and you can see how I would type this roughly in real life. Like this. So let me first turn off the paragraph marking so it looks a little bit nicer already. And let me delete this extra line. If you don't want the left hand side over here, what you can do is just uh, put your cursor there. Either hit just delete backspace or just hit a space bar like this either way it'll discard that now you have nice presenting equations like this so as you can see all these uh, four templates the four most popular templates that I've covered all have their place in a mathematics document and once you've mastered these it is extremely easy to create these auto numbered equations so in the next videos what I can cover is how do you reference these equation numbers so if I let me see if I can find an example for example here this 92 over here is referencing this equation so not only can it will automatically update if I rearrange the equation order uh, if I click on this it's also an automatic hyperlink as you see it jumps right over there let me try with the 94 if I click that you see my cursor directly jump over there so in the next videos I can cover the issue of how to do these referencing and maybe in even future videos I can cover more about the typing aspects the other syntaxes that makes typing math really easy without reaching for your mouse and clicking at options on the menu bar so as usual if there is any other things you would like me to cover in about how to type mathematics in Microsoft Word easily with uh, your keyboard only feel free to leave it in the comments below and if you find this video helpful please click the like and consider subscribing so you can get notified for any future videos that I put out. So hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.